Good morning crafty friends. I am back with another layout. This one is going to be a single page 12 by 12 layout and I'm going to start off by showing you the paper that I used. Um, two sheets came from the hot cocoa line and I'm using this gingerbread paper here and this plaid paper down here. So let me show those to you. I don't know if you guys have seen these at Tuesday morning. They were out last year and I've heard they're out again this year. So here's the first paper that I'm using and it's a thick craft style cardstock and then the other one is this one here. Okay. Just a nice, reminds me of a scarf. Here's the full sheet of it. There we go. Okay, so that's the first paper pack. And then the second one is uh, by Recollections. It's called Christmas Noel Sugar Plums Paper Pad. And I got this years ago. And this is the really thin paper. So um, most people wouldn't want to use this for uh, layout, but I figure once I get everything on, and into my album, it doesn't really matter um, how thick or thin it is. So uh, I'm going to be doing a picture from when my kids made cookies to put out for Santa Claus. And so I'm using, um, I can't find it in here, but let me just show it to you. So I'm using this paper here, and it's got these um, cute cookie cutouts for Christmas and you can tell like I said it's pretty thin. Alright so let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and I inked up the edges of my paper again to give it some dimension and to stand out from the paper that it's sitting on. And I'm just gonna put that about half an inch in and a quarter of an inch from the top and bottom. I did not um, edge distress my, any of my white paper because I wanted it to stand out and be pristine, but I did um, do all of the other color paper and print paper. Do you guys make cookies for Santa Claus? What do you guys put out? Cookies, fudge, hot cocoa, ice cold glass of milk or eggnog? We have done it all, to be honest. <laughs> um, in fact, we'll be doing some baking this weekend. My daughter requested that we have cinnamon rolls for breakfast on Christmas morning. And um, she does not want the store bought. She wants it homemade. So I said, if you want homemade, then you have to help me. And she's more than willing to do that. She likes to cook. All right, so I'm just gonna center this pretty much smack dab in the middle of my page. Okay. And then I have uh, this color here. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a cranberry. And I'm gonna line it up on this white paper as well. Have you guys finished all your Christmas shopping? I just picked up my present for my husband yesterday and I have to go just get a couple more things for the white elephant gift exchange that my family um, wants to do on Christmas Day. There's usually about 30 of us that get together. All right, so I'm just gonna offset this piece here, showing the gingerbread off to the side. All right. So here's all my pieces. This one is just a silhouette um, die cut. And then the others are all from Miss Kate Cuttable. So here we have a snowflake cookie, a 
Christmas tree cookie and I used my glaze pen to go into all the red dots to kind of make it stand out some. The candy cane cookie and then the title, Making Cookies for Santa. And I don't know if you can tell, but I did put um, so Wink Estella on the frosting of this cookie here as well as the white part of um, this candy cane. But I'm not sure if you can tell them. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these together. Again, uh, this I don't tend to put dimensionals on my pages because I don't want them to uh, be too thick in my album and also this is pretty thick itself I don't know if you can tell I mean it's it's got a lot of layers so it's it's hardy and thick anyway so it doesn't mean anything extra so I'm just gonna offset this off to the corner here okay I'll take my Christmas tree and the tree has four layers it's the cookie color a darker green frosting the red on the inside and then this lighter green for the frosting. So I'm just going to lay it right here. Then the gingerbread. And again, I he looks kind of creepy, <laughs> but I took his eyes and used glaze 3D pen on that to make it look more like a frosting. not on my picture and then for the snowflake cookie I put Wink Estella on the snowflake as well so I don't know if you guys can see that or not all right and then for the candy cane I'm just going to put it right up here. Okay, so just off to the side right there. All right, and that is my layout. I hope you guys enjoy it and find some inspiration for your own albums. Have a good day. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.